So in this tutorial, we're going to extend even more the AI. Uh, in the previous tutorial, we, we used the send message action to send a message from the FSM to the controller using this, uh, the send message and the message receiver to trigger an animation and to trigger the sound. Now, in this tutorial, we want to make the AI go into a specific uh, position in the world also triggered an animation but not only that we are going to change the FSM behavior from this one that very simple that we've created to another FSM that has a shooter behavior already set up so to do that first we're going to use the AI component that I also forgot to add here I'm sorry it will be available in the next update but you can always go in here and type the name of the component you want. In this case, it's the move to position. Let's add it here. And as you can see, we have a list of positions that you can add. So for this one, we want a, um, what do we call, searching for weapon. And the location will be a empty game object let's assign it about here and I want my forward to be here so this is my target let's use the same name searching for weapon and the reason I use the forward position facing the weapon is that I want to rotate to target so I will make my character forward to match my target forward with the on start move as you can see here, we have a recommendation to call the stop FSM function on the start move events to avoid conflicts with the FSM behavior. So, for example, uh, actually moving to position, but he, he takes any damage. The FSM will make him flee, and we don't want that. We want him to actually go to the target. So, let's call the stop FSM uh, function, just drag and drop the character here, search for the FSM behavior controller and call the stop FSM. You can also do that by going to the FSM controller and check the stopping option so you can actually debug something. Now I want, uh, I forgot to change the speed here, I want the character to go to that position by running. Unfinished move is when your character actually arrives at his destination. So when, re when he arrives at the destination I want him to play an animation. Again, drag and drop yourself here, search for the animator and use the play in fixed time with the parameter string because we want to type the, the animation uh, here. So for this character, he's using the a simple uh, civilian animator. We just customize with the action ducking. So let's use the start ducking animation. Let's go back here, play the start ducking animation. And just for testing, uh, of course, we will use the move to position with the FSM, but just to test if this is working, I'm going to check move on start and pass the name of the position target. So let's take a look. Uh, if everything goes well, he will uh, stop the FSM, uh, run into this target, rotate to the target and play the animation start ducking. Let's take a look. He's running play the animation. Cool, it's working just fine. So now we're going to extend our AI behavior combining with the previous tutorial where we make him flee and got scared and instead of going to idle um, he will actually go to another state and call it search for weapon and I'm going to send a message my controller called 
search for a weapon and the listener name will be start searching search for weapon so let's assign the action here search for weapon and in here I will go to my message receiver and add another message called start searching for weapon it's the, name, it's the name of the listener and in here I want to drag and drop myself and call the move to method it's a public method that we can call here move to with the parameter string so you can use the, the parameter string you can type it here or you can type it here directly in this case I want, I want to type here I want to call move to for the position search for a weapon so what we just did was to send a message to my message receiver and my message receiver will trigger the move to method that is uh, that is going to pass the string parameter searching for weapon which we have here set up to be the target search for weapon so I'm going to so I'm going to make a transition for the searching for weapon and in here we're going to end this uh, behavior because we're actually going to change the behavior of the controller so for that we're going to use the uh, action change behavior and the behavior we're going to change is the shooter that already comes with the template cool now assign it here change behavior and now let's go back to our civilian and to not make this tutorial uh, way too long I already set up uh, some a weapon and a handler here at the right hand as you can see we have a handler we have a shotgun that is it is disabled and what we need to do is to change the controller because he is no longer a basic controller now we we need a shooter options here as well so let's go in here and shooter a shooter needs a head track which we already have one here and he also needs a shooter manager so you can add it here shooter manager or here on the AI controller components shooter manager and in the shooter manager we need to set up the damage layer as we we already talked about that in the sh uh, how to set up a shooter tutorial we talked about how to set up to align weapons so take a look there um, we actually want to apply damage to the player and yeah that's pretty much it that we have to set up so now that we're using the shooter manager and a shooter controller we also need a shooter animations so to do that let's create a copy of our original animator and rename to a project shooter let's assign it here I could replace the animator controller using events with the with the uh, animator runtime animator controller I could if I want uh, replace my animator controller here but in this case I can't because the shooter controller uh, asks for a few parameters that the basic doesn't have so to avoid warnings I'm going to use the shooter uh, from the start so let's review what we've done so, f so far we've add a search for weapon state with the send message 
to send a message from the FSM to the controller so the controller will receive the message and call the method move to from the move to position uh, component asking for the searching for weapon uh, position and this is the, the position now when I start moving I will stop my FSM and play it animation I change the animation um, because I changed my animator so <coughs> the animation I want is of the character picking up the weapon it's this one it's called pick mid and as you can see character will pick up the weapon I I've mirrored so that pick up with the correct uh, arm and after he pick up uh, the weapon we need to do a few things. First we need to uh, disable this object and enable the object the the weapon that we set up in the character. So let's do that. But if I do that uh, instantly it will look a little bit weird and that's where our third component of this tutorial shows up. It's called event with delay and with these components you can create as many events as you want in this case I want two one to disable this object and one to enable this one so I want to create a delay for him to for the animation to actually play a little bit and then the, the weapon uh, will be disabled so I will say about 0 0.3 it's a good delay so let's uh, assign this weapon right here and use the game object set active false and for this one also 0 0.3 and enable my uh, shotgun that already is in my character disable let's enable with set active true and let's call the those events and uh, here we've in our in our chain of events that we are creating here so I'm dragging and dropping my character here and I'm going to access the V event with delay and we, in here we have two public methods the do event which has a parameter of int and the do events the difference is that the do events will trigger all my events on the list and the do event we can call a specific one first so for example if I select this one I can trigger the 0 or the 1 the but in this case I'm going to use all at the same time so let's use the do events um, lastly I need to start my FSM again so after I pick up my weapon I can uh, start doing my shooter behaviors so let's drag and drop here and access the FSM behavior controller and start my FSM so before we test it I actually need to set this object right here as static and bake the nav mesh so uh, our character can navigate with the path um, knowing that this is a obstacle so let's go in here and bake and as you can see it's now a obstacle let's see if it works now I'm going to apply some damage for him to go <laughs> into the flea state now ducking uh, he will be a little scared for a while here now he's returning and going to the position now the FSM is off play the animation and now that he has again he came to me and attacked me so that's pretty cool right well that's it for this tutorial we did a pretty cool customization of the template here uh, we did a flea, a scare state, a search for a weapon and we changed the uh, behavior we changed the FSM behavior at runtime which is pretty cool and we also learned about the moved position to go to a specific place
and with events we can do pretty much anything from play animations, changing behaviors, changing animator controllers, all in real time. And we also learn about events with delay, which is an awesome way to trigger anything that an event can trigger using delay to create even more cool effects. So that's it. Uh, that was one combination of events that we did. I hope you go crazy with this tool. There is tons of tons of possibilities to do creative and unique AIs. Hope you have fun and see you on the next tutorial.